Just weeks ago, residents at Weddington Place Senior Apartments in Fayetteville, they got news that they could either move out or pay up. According to a notice from the apartments, the price of a two-bedroom apartment is set to increase by 53% and a one-bedroom by nearly 73%. Thank you so much for joining us at 6. I'm Sonia Hill. Doug Warner has the night off. And while many have decided to pack up their things and leave Weddington Place, some residents still remain. KNWA's Gabriella Phelan covered this story not too long ago, and she spent some time following up with residents today and learned about the assistance they're being offered. So, Gabby, what did you learn today? Sonia, that's right. Michael Floyd's in-laws live at Weddington Place. Together, he and his wife are heading an effort to help as many of the seniors as they can. And today, that meant bringing in outside help. At Weddington Place Senior Apartments, the balconies where decorations used to line the railing are now looking a little bit more bare than usual. I have seen this at other properties. I, this is nothing new. Many of the residents had no other choice but to leave the community they know and love behind after they found out about a rent increase of up to 73% at the beginning of August. Billy Cook with Arkansas Renters United says he's been keeping a watchful eye on the situation since he first found out about it. It's uh, a lot of sadness a lot of anger and frustration. People have called what's being done to them cruel and wrong. And through conversations with many of the affected residents, he's found that lots of seniors are having to cut corners to keep a roof over their head. When you're a senior citizen, you know, you have to start making really hard decisions. Am I going to cut back on my groceries? Am I going to cut back on my medicine? Am I going to cut back on gas to get to the doctor? Michael Floyd and his wife Rosa are familiar faces around the complex, with Rosa's parents being long time residents. But now they're leading an effort to bring assistance to the seniors with a resource fair. My hope is that uh, residents um, number one feel like they don't necessarily have to move, that they have options, that they have some ways to um, to deal with the rent increase. Various food assistance programs attended as well as a Medicaid specialist in the city of Fayetteville. Floyd says the seniors learned about different resources that are available to them. Helping uh, residents sign up for some benefits they may not know they're eligible for like uh, uh, SNAP or utility assistance or even a pet clinic to get uh, free pet supplies. And while they're still searching for answers, Floyd says they couldn't just do nothing. We've just had to step in and do what we could. It would be nice to have answers, but we can't really wait around for that. Cook also says he believes the issue lies within Arkansas law and that the state is not doing enough to protect renters. Live in studio, Gabriella Phelan, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News. Gabriella, thank you so much. Meanwhile